Greetings fellow detectives, Wizard Kitten here bringing you part 12 in our walkthrough for Nancy Drew, Mystery of the Seven Keys. If you are here for the vibes, gameplay, and commentary, feel free to keep watching, and if you are looking for a specific moment or puzzle solution, check out the timestamps and chapters in the description below. All right, we have made a lot of progress. I kind of get the feeling that we are about halfway through the game. We just helped Adela debug her computer. Um, what else do we need to do? We still need to find the Dean. Maybe we can follow up with the police now. We also need to ask around about alchemy. Okay, so maybe let's um, interview Patrizia. She seems to know a little bit about everything. So I think this is a good place to start. Hello, my dear. Do you know where they keep the crown jewels? They have replicas on display. The real ones. In a vault in the castle complex, no? Adela told me that King Leopold II had a royal alchemist in his court. This does not surprise me. We have an entire section on alchemy here. Books in English, too. Do you believe that he had a workshop? Could it still be around here? A hidden workshop? I have heard of hidden passages. Hmm, I remember. They have an exhibit on alchemy at the castle. The one overseen by Oscar Dvorak? If you say so. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Thank you. You've given me a lot to work with. Anytime. You ask the best questions. I certainly ask detailed questions. Um, so she said there's a complete section on alchemy here. Do I have... Maybe I already grabbed the alchemy book. I think I did. That was way back in the very first chapter. So that's my, my book here on alchemy. Yes, what is alchemy? The four stages, modern alchemy... Okay, so I have a feeling this is going to be helpful now. Um, before we go, let's make a coffee or two, because this is probably... Can I have one cafe nor set? Extra sugar. Probably my favorite little task in this game so far, which should not be a surprise. I am obsessed with cooking puzzles. Pour the same amount of coffee as in the latte, so a double espresso, and then a little bit of steamed milk with some hazelnut. Okay, double espresso... What is your preferred coffee order? If you were going to come to this cafe, what would you be ordering? I love just a standard latte. And then seasonally, I might spice it up with a little extra flavor, like maybe a little bit of peppermint in the winter time, a little lavender in the springtime. Um, a cafe noisette, so some hazelnut and then extra sugar. Yay, I get to do latte art, okay. Oh, it's this one again, okay. Let's see here. I have seen some people saying that they are struggling with this puzzle a bit. I will say it is a lot easier if you have a mouse. I'm not sure if people are trying to do this with a trackpad, um, but I can imagine that would be a lot more difficult. Going slowly on the thicker areas is helpful. Um, and if you do, like, miss a spot, you can always go back and do more. Mel's trying to insert herself on my desk here. <laughs> Maybe she's trying to get in my lap. Are you trying to get in my lap? I mean, I would love that. Feel free. Please do. Aw, oh, yay. I did kick her off this chair. That's how it's done. So, I'd like to have a macchiato, but please add twice as much milk as usual. Twice as much milk as usual. Quiet. I did kick Mel off of this desk chair just a bit ago, so I guess she is uh, making herself back at home here. Although, sweetheart, you're sitting on the cord. Can I get the cord out from under you? It might be more comfortable for you. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Cats. They're the best, aren't they? What would we do without them? 
I'm so glad we got uh, cat representation in this game. That makes me so happy. We've only had one other cat, um, and Yuri, as um, cute as he is, is uh, a little smush-faced person. <laughs> this would be a fun one to include in Coffee of the Month. Which means he's maybe not as handsome as, like, quite as many other cats. Unless you like Persians. I mean, Persians are still beautiful. No hate. All of my American tourists keep asking for this. Add the dopio portion of espresso and a little steamed milk, then flavor with caramel. Okay. So, double espresso. She wants double the milk. Flavor with caramel. Okay. Double espresso. I wonder how many different orders there are. Like, if I sat here and played this for an hour, for example, how, uh, <laughs> how many different orders did I get? Okay, so double the milk, um, some caramel, because it's a caramel macchiato. Yay, more latte art, okay. Is it a design I haven't done yet? Nope, I have done this one too. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm holding my breath, so... I can go straight, because I'm terrified I'm gonna screw it up at the very last second. Shoo, okay, sir. I seem to be getting good <laughs> at this. Just a little stressful. Can I have one lungo, please? One lungo? That's just a triple espresso, isn't it? I mean, if it's that easy to make. A lungo, yep, triple espresso. Yeah, why not? One more and then we'll be done. I know I said that last time too, but it's just so fun. And this one's easy. <laughs> I have to make them coffee. Another perfect drink. Yay. I want something at a time. All right, Patrizia can help the next person. Okay, so I have asked about alchemy from Patrizia. I wonder if Radic has anything to say about it, and then we can also go talk to Oscar overseen the exhibit, probably does have more to say about it. You just missed today's play. Actually, you didn't. It was the same as yesterday's. I wondered if you'd still be here. I had a few history questions for you. Lay them on me. Did you finish the Residente script? It's still a work in progress. I'm not really sure how to end it. Why is that? Because the Residente haven't finished yet. Most people I spoke with believe the Residente disbanded quite a long time ago. I'm not most people. So mysterious. <laughs> Do you believe alchemy still has a place in today's world? The alchemy of those days is a dying art. Like my marionettes. Sometimes I think leaving the past in the past might be simpler. Why is it a problem? You're keeping your traditions alive. I might have been better off sticking with video games. A <laughs> cheeky nod to the fact that we are currently playing a video game. Do you know specifically who originally made the Seven Keys? Yes, it is said that Leopold II's royal alchemist made them. Alchemy was a science back then, and kings kept alchemists in their court. You can see evidence of this all over Prague, down to the smallest detail. <laughs> Nothing mystical about forging keys, of course. Do you know his process for forging them? Merrick knows better than I do. I make marionettes dance, but don't really make them physically. He's a master craftsman. Marionettes, keys, you name it. Thanks for your expert analysis. I'll keep it all in mind. Of course. Oh, Nancy, before you go, have you ever read Kafka's Metamorphosis? Not yet, but I know the story. Then you know. The real monsters in Prague, they don't always look it. That was on. 
ominous. Thank you for that ominous warning, Radic. It also sounds like we might need to go talk to Merrick. His name has come up a couple times now. Um, let's talk to Oscar first. Might as well check in with uh, Vladina while we're here. I can never remember if it is Vladina or Vladena. I think it's Vladina. But I could be wrong about that. Ah, oh, Miss Drew. More questions? What can I say? I have an interest in your history. History is not the problem. Is the present day the prog problem, or is Nancy asking you questions the problem? How often do you need to work with the Dean of St. Vitus? I have tried to work with him on numerous occasions, but his secretary seems to run an unusually tight schedule. Can you explain why you were so keen to meet with him? How would you know that? He invited me to visit him at St. Vitus. I was in the area. If you must know, I wanted to schedule the inspection appointment at the cathedral. That is all. Didn't that already happen? <laughs> Nancy, I was in the area. Code for I was eavesdropping. Have you heard of the Residente in Prague? You don't need to worry about them. Prague is perfectly safe for tourists. Have they ever been connected to jewel thefts? <laughs> you have an imagination. Uh, perhaps in the past, yes. But now? Puh. What do you know about alchemy in the old royal court? I put the alchemy exhibit together myself. Is it a personal interest of yours? The exhibit is over there. I don't have time to talk you through it, but you can go read it yourself. You might not understand it all, so come back and ask questions if you have any. That's a generous offer. Is it? He basically said, uh, bugger off and then come back. Um, I believe this is the alchemy exhibit. Yes? Um, the alchemists, the gem and crystal artist. First circle, then ellipse. Ah, so that's how we knew how to open the top of the artifact. Um, and I have read every single thing in this museum. So, ah, alchemy in Prague, alchemical history. I've read this. That was in part two, I believe. Maybe part... I think it was part two. Ah, <sighs> Nancy. Okay, so... We're just supposed to read that information. Um... I'm not done. Still have to do yeah, that. Yeah, still have to do that. Okay, that's okay. Um, let's check in with Vladina. And then maybe Marek? Oh, you again. No? Okay. Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think she'd have anything to tell us. But I think Marek will. So this episode is turning out to be lots of uh, character discussions. We have a lot of questions to ask. Whee! <laughs> so what I'm putting together... There's a few things going on. There's like... The crown jewels, there's the necklace. We still haven't really had any, like... Well, I guess the black market big score is probably the um, crown jewels. If they are going to be stolen. Hello, what can I do for you? Does your grandfather only work here? Work, yes. Hides at his desk and does who knows what else. Also, yes. He's pretty secretive, then. My mother would say that is just how he is. Always tampering with something. And he should not be disturbed. You never thought to sneak a peek? To watch him tinker with puppets? No, thank you. I prefer computers. They are more challenging. Were you close to your mother? <sighs> she passed when I was young. She was everything to me. I'm sorry. I know what that's like. I'm sorry to hear that. My mom was killed 
hit by a car on an errand, so they say. You don't sound convinced. It was the middle of the night. What errand would she run? But my grandfather would say no more about it. What do you think happened? She was hit by a car. More than that, I can't know. I'm... I'm very sorry. I could... No, what's done is done. What about your mother? How did it happen? Suddenly, like yours. If you ever need to talk... It was a long time ago, and we're here now. Yeah, she clearly doesn't want to talk, Nancy. <laughs> so you really don't know more about Radek? He's pretty cute. I meant about what he does. He's so passionate about his craft, even in our modern age. I have never asked. He has a mysterious quality to him. I trip over my words when he is around. That's hard to believe. It is true. I am not as friendly as I appear. You are so mean? you don't know how he spends his time. He speaks mostly with my grandfather. You would have to ask him. I should get going. Of course. Interesting. Okay. So we're kind of getting the, the tea on everyone today, getting a little gossip in. Dovredin. Are you looking for Elka? Actually, I wanted to talk to you. Alchemy seems to be a large part of Prague's history and continues to be relevant today. Do you know anything about the alchemists of the old royal courts? I learned many skills from those times. I fix old marionettes and automatons, but some tricks got lost along the way. So you can't turn lead into gold? Ha. Ah, I would not be here if I could. I mean, for example, the old case right there. What about it? It belonged to an alchemist from centuries ago, sometime during the 16th century. I could never find a way to open it without breaking it. That I won't do. May I give it a closer look? Please, be careful. Ooh, do we have another puzzle? Have you heard of the Residente in Prague? You are afraid of them? Should I be? No. They would not bother tourists. How do you know that? Why would they? It attracts the wrong attention. Have you encountered the Residente? Would you know how to reach them? They don't bother old men either. <laughs> I love this voice actor. Do you know how they molded the seven keys that lock up the crown jewels? Not molds. Schematics. In those days, they wrought keys in a forge and hammered them into shape. Strong iron made them sturdy, but not the seven keys. They are more delicate. So they say. If the schematics for the original keys still exist, where would they be? Hidden. If they were hidden by the alchemists who made them, they would have locked them away somewhere they could never be found. But not with a key. Then how? Do you think they still exist? Alchemists were very clever. The schematics could have been destroyed by now. Hmm. <sighs> you have filled a few holes in my knowledge. Thank you. Hmm. At least someone is interested in what I know. You're thinking of Alka? To me daughter or granddaughter, sometimes spending time together is enough. Thank you for the um, unsolicited advice there, Nancy. <laughs> uh, ask about alchemy? That's done. I'm not done with that yet. Alright, we've asked everyone about alchemy. Have we asked enough about I'm Residente? I'm not done with that yet. Um, still have to do that. Open Mark's trunk. Take a closer look at the trunk in the window. Okay, here we are. Key. Interesting. Interesting. Looking 
for, ooh. Ooh, interesting, okay. So there's like a little uh, indentation here. Oh, the light occasionally does this weird thing where it kind of like flashes across the screen. I know it's supposed to be an effect, but it is uh, sometimes a little strange. Oh! Oh. Is it in order? Ah, uh, okay. Yep, probably. So I just have to figure out the right order. Two, one, seven, two, one, seven, six, two, one, seven, five, two, one, seven, three, two, one. This always happens. Four, three, two, one, seven, eight, two, one, seven, four, six, two, one, seven, four, five, eight, two, one, seven, four, five, six, three, dang it, two, one, seven, four, five, six, eight, three. Yeah. Let's take a closer oh, look. Bye, Mel. Hey. Have I seen the symbol before? Yes, in the Dean's panel. Hmm. Have I seen the symbol before? Yes. Again, yes. Um. Hmm. Have I seen the symbol before? Is this all I'm supposed to do? Um. Do I need something? Interesting. Okay. Is that all I was supposed to do? I'm not done with that Take yet. Take a closer look at the trunk. Have I seen this symbol before? Yes, I have. In the dean's office. Hmm. Have I seen the symbol before? So what am I supposed to do hmm. with it? Have I seen the symbol before? Am I supposed to go to the Dean's office and be like, hey, look, it's that symbol again. <laughs> puppets, puppets, puppets. Prague sure has a unique history with marionettes. Luckily, lucky they're not alive. I get the feeling I'm being watched. Um, have I seen this symbol before? Yes, I certainly have. Dobre den. Are you looking for Elka? Actually, I wanted to talk to you. I should get going. Yeah, come back sometime. Kindly grandfather type character. Uh, uh, let's see. What do I have in my inventory, maybe? Adele's necklace log. I have a key. Um, I don't think it is the key. Hmm, have I seen the symbol before? Does that mean I'm supposed to go to the dean's office and be like, hey, what is what is this? Whoops, that's a window. Don't walk into windows, guys. Um, little known fact about how you're supposed to walk through environments. Generally, you're not supposed to go through the windows. Don't know if you knew that. <laughs> okay, uh, dean's office is where I have seen this symbol before. This is totally going to be a puzzle. Um, wait, what was the cat's name again? I meant to figure that out. Uh, Marias, my beloved Marias. My beloved. Is he still in here? Kitty! Where are you, kitty? He, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Where did Marias go? He disappeared. Um, okay, so am I supposed to take a piece from here? Um, no. I mean, it's triangle, hexagon, square, and it's not letting me take any of these, which means this is probably complete. So where have I seen 
this before in the dean's office. And there's nowhere else we can go, right? I don't think so. Still can't go that way. Um, so it must have something to do with the trunk in Mark's space. Um, let's keep puzzling away. After kind of feeling a little bit discontented with how many times I've need to rely on hints with some of the puzzles in this game, I reached out to a bunch of you on Instagram to kind of check in and see how you are all doing with the puzzles and uh, if you feel like maybe you're needing to use Have I seen the symbol before? Hints more often or not? Um, and basically my conclusion is that a lot of these puzzles just require patience and if you look at every single angle and try and figure out what you're missing you are a lot more likely to um hmm. have i seen the symbol before figure out what to do eventually so nancy keeps telling me hmm have i seen the symbol before and yes well sort of i've seen a similar symbol um I can't look can't at go that way. other parts of the trunk anymore. Hmm. Have I seen the symbol before? And I don't know how how to pick this up cuz she's not commenting on this at all. Nothing is being commented on here. Hmm. Have I seen the symbol before? Nancy just keeps saying, "Have I seen this symbol before?" Um Take a closer look at the trunk in the window. Find the Dean. Learn more about Residente. Figure out the combination. Um, let's see. Have I seen this symbol before? Maybe I need to get something in here. Is there anything in here that kind of reveals what the symbol is? Um. Silence our culture, Shanrit. Because if there's something else in here that matches the symbol, maybe then I can use that two worlds, one shop, indeed. Let's see. Distract your grandpa. You need to get behind the desk. <laughs> Hello. No? You don't want to distract him? Well, I want you to distract him. Um, okay, so clearly that's not what we need to do. Hmm. Have I seen the symbol before? Maybe I need a diamond to fit in there. So maybe that's what I'm hmm. missing. Have I seen the symbol before? Because this is filled in, but this is not. So maybe I can't continue until I have a diamond. That's maybe what I'm thinking. Um, let's call the police. Let's check back in with them. Not available. Mm. I'll track down a different lead. Okay, they're not available yet. So I could ask more about alchemy. Who else do I have to talk to? Take a closer look at the trunk. I gotta ask Still have to do more that. about Residente. I wonder if I can like call Ned or Carson. Oh, have you heard of a group called Residente? Should I have? They follow a long tradition of theft in Prague. So they stole Adela's necklace? Maybe, the necklace seems too small a score for them. If they're going after something bigger, you know what I'm going to say. I'll watch my back. <laughs> I will. No, I won't. Smiley face. Okay, did I ask about Residente now? <laughs> Still have to do that. Maybe Frank and Joe? Um, 
Should I call Ned? Hey, it's Ned. I can only... No. What about Carson? You've reached the... What about Frank and Joe? When in doubt... Hmm. Now isn't a good time. Talk to everybody. Call everybody. Um... Let's call Oscar. Just to annoy You've him. You've reached Oscar. <laughs> Just because it's fun. Uh, Zane, do you know about Residente? Not available. I'll track down a different lead. Okay. Still have to do that. Well, follow up with the police. I texted Ned. Can I call the police now? Hmm. Now isn't a good time. Okay, well, we'll have to figure out what to do next in the next part. In the meantime, we did get a lot of good interrogation going in this part. Really got to talk to a lot of the characters, so that is helpful. Um, I think I'm going to leave this part right here. Thank you so much for watching, fellow detectives. If you enjoyed this part, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more Nancy Drew and Cozy Game content. Thank you so much for watching, fellow detectives. I will see you soon.